Hello Year 1! Today I'm going to show you how to make and play a maths game called Clear the Board. To be able to play this game you're going to need a piece of paper, a dice and some counters. So you're going to need two different kinds and you're going to need five of each kind. So you could use Lego or blocks or anything you really have around the house. I've used some acorns that I collected the other day and some little black rocks that I really like. Now we need to set up our piece of paper so we're ready to play the game. The first thing we need to do is draw a line through the middle of the page, like that, and then two lines going downwards so that there are six boxes on the page. Then you can label the boxes one, two, three, four, five, six to match the six different sides of the dice. So one player is going to play with the rocks and the other player is going to play with the acorns. So the acorn person will take their acorns and they can put their acorns wherever they like in the squares on the piece of paper. Then the rock person will do the same with their rocks. Now the object of the game is to clear the board of all of your counters. So either all of your acorns or all of your rocks. So if the acorn person goes first, they're going to give their dice a shake, drop it on the ground, two. So there aren't any acorns on number two, so the acorn person doesn't get to take any off the board. And then it's the rocks person's turn. So they give it a shake, roll the dice, just one dot. Ah, there's no rocks on number one either. Okay, so now it's the acorn's turn again. Give it a shake. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six dots. So the acorn person gets to take their counter off and they've cleared the board of one acorn. Now it's the rock's turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So the rock gets to take their rock off the board. You're going to keep playing like that until one of the players has cleared the board of all of their counters. Okay, so the acorn, has, the person playing with the acorns has won because they have managed to clear the board of all of their acorns first. To make the game a little bit more challenging, you can use two dice instead of one. You're also going to need to set up your page a little bit differently. Start off doing it the same as before, with one line across and two lines down. But then you're going to split these boxes again. One, two, three. Then you can label your boxes from one to twelve. Then the last thing we need to do to set up our page is put a big cross on the number one because we can't use that box there. Then, the same as before, the player with the acorn counters is going to put their acorns wherever they like on the board. And the player with the rock counters can put their rocks wherever they like on the board. And you're going to roll two dice and add the dots on the dice together to find the number. So give them a little shake, drop the dice, so we've got one, two, and then three, four dots. So the acorn player can take the acorn off number four, and they've cleared the board of one. Then it's the rock's turn. Give them a little shake, drop them on the ground, and we've got one, two, three, four, five dots. Ah, so there's no rocks on number five. Now it's the acorn's turn. One, two, three, four, five. The acorn gets to clear the board. You're going to continue on like the, that until either the acorn player or the rock player has no more counters on the board. This maths game is a really good one for practicing being able to instantly recognize how many dots are on each side of the dice and also practice some addition, adding up all the dots on two dice.
Room 3 really loved this game and I hope you enjoy playing it with the people in your bubble too. Bye!